Hey guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel BlairTech256. In this video tutorial, I'm going to guide you on how to bypass uh Kyocera KYV43. I'm going to show you on how to bypass the Google account lock on this phone. So let us go ahead and power it on. Okay. Okay, let us get started. So now, uh, here just click on setup as new. Then here you set your Wi-Fi network. You select your Wi-Fi network. Okay. Alright, as you can see right here, it says that verify your account. This device was reset. To continue sign in using the Google account, which was previously used with this phone. So what we are going to do is, is to type right here. Type right here. Then click on Kyoto Input. Then click on where you see menu. Then click on quotation input. Then tap and hold where you see a uh, call. And then you click on app info. Then scroll down where you see phone app. Tap that. And then you scroll up. You head where you see <coughs> open links. You tap that. Then scroll down. Uh, click on Google, then tap right here up on Google, then scroll down and hit to notifications, then click on this. Then, if you get this, first of all, first get back, again back, again you click back, again back. So you scroll down to Google Play Services, you tap that. And then uh, you tap on the Google Play Services app, scroll down and go to storage, then click manage space, then uh, you clear all the data, then you click back, again back, then, then you scroll back to Google, then you tap on the Google again, then you click on the storage then you click on manage space click all clear all the data then you click back then head to notifications then click on this you'll be able to get the feed click on it then click no thanks then you type in chrome Chrome. No thanks. Then you search for GSM solution. G S GSM solution. Then you search. Um, okay. After clicking that, 
let us change the keyboard first. Mm, then click right here. Now tap on the first one. Then scroll down. Then you head right here. Click on that GSM solution, you download it. Download that. Click OK. Then head to the downloads. It will be downloading right there. So just have to wait as it downloads. Okay, from there, just open it, settings, uh, then you turn on this, okay, tap back, then you install it again, install, Now you click on done. Now uh, go back. Now you search for quick shortcut maker. You click right here to change the keyboard. Then search for quick shortcut maker. Let me first change it. Uh, standard input. Then you search for quick shortcut maker. Uh, space sorry then you search <coughs> scroll down click right here Now scroll down, click on download, so the download will be right here, okay, open, install it, click open, now let us look for the settings, scroll down, Head to the settings, click try, then scroll down, head to security, scroll down, device administrator, disable this, deactivate, head back, scroll back again, then head to apps, right here scroll down and then look for the google play services you disable them get back again back head to uh, accounts right here add account click on google now you're going to sign in with a valid Gmail address, okay? So I'm going to use mine, um, okay? So let me use mine.
then click go then for the password let me go ahead and pause the video now i'm done with putting the password click next scroll down i agree so now we have added our gmail uh, account so click back now we are going to enable the the google play services so head to apps click that disabled click google play services enable them click back uh, head to accounts you can see now they are updated now so uh, go ahead and restart your device the FRP lock will be now removed restart your device Now here you can click setup as new and then you let it to load. You can see our account is loaded. Click next. So now here we are. So here you can click, click on not now. Skip anyway. scroll down accept next no thanks all set so now your phone is now successfully bypassed the frp lock the google account lock it is also known as the factory reset protection lock so now uh, everything is now set you can see that everything is set so guys if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, player tech 256 another thing uh, you should not forget you have to uninstall this app uh, the one that we installed this one right here the bypass tool settings and uninstall this app scroll down head to more then head to apps and uninstall the other app uh, this one right here uninstall it and you're good to go that's all you need to do so guys if you found this video helpful please uh, like and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, blair tech 256 i sign out keep the subscription locked